V-Ray Next has a new texture in its library, the V-Ray Layered Texture, which makes it so that you can merge maps together with blend modes and masking controls. This makes it really easy to create complex looking textures, all with the simplicity of a layer-based system, which you'll find familiar if you've used other popular image editing software. To demonstrate, let's start the IPR, and then isolate the red material on the robot by clicking on the Isolate Select button. This is a new feature in V-Ray Next that we can use to see the changes we're making without being distracted by the entire model. If you'd like to learn more about this feature in particular, you can watch the debug shading lesson in this training. Okay, let's now load the V-Ray layer texture in the diffuse slot. We won't have any layers to start, so let's click Add New Item to create a new layer zero. For this layer, let's set the diffuse color to red. Keep in mind that this layer will be the base level of our hierarchy, so any additional layers we create will appear on top of this in the render. Now let's turn off the Isolate Select mode and add a second new layer. This time, let's load in a mask texture file called Scratches, which we can find in the Assets folder. Then, let's tweak the color to a light blue and reduce the opacity of the layer to something around 0.8 so that it blends in better. Once again, I'll create another layer, and this time load a file into the text map slot called Rust Diffuse. I can adjust the UVs here to change the texture's placement, and then load in a mask texture called Rust Mask, which will affect the original Rust Diffuse texture's visibility on our robot. In addition, we can change the blend mode to multiply. These various blending operations basically work the same as they do in any other layer-based software. Let's add one more layer here, and load in a mask texture called Strips to add some more decals to our robot. Once again, we can adjust the diffuse color to make them fit in a bit better. You can also move your layers up and down using the arrows here if you want to make some adjustments to your hierarchy. Okay, now you've seen how the V-Ray layer texture can create a complex looking result using only a handful of textures and a few quick tweaks to blend modes and masking controls.